Welcome back to the Idol Master, one for all. Say hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Don't you have to share, like, the actual OBS window for her to be able to hear the sound? Well, the sound isn't that important. She will be able uh, to hear the song. Oh. I'm good. Oh, uh, the, right. Um, I will I will let her hear the song when it's time. Okay. But uh, it'll be easier for, for her to read if I just share the preview rather than OBS. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Uh... Let me try lowering the... There it goes. Okay. Sorry. It's one, it's Idol Master 1 for all. It's Chihaya's Root. We're going to start playing the DLC episodes. In Idol, Mas Idol Master 1 for all, there were three whole extra story scenarios that were added for all of the girls as DLC. They all come with a, a girl-specific song and a girl-specific outfit a new rank, rank S, there's no story scenes attached to that, and thank you, Midnight. Welcome back. And a new, um, a new ultimate appeal attack that you can use on your opponents during festivals when you are competing solo with the girl-specific song and girl-specific outfit. But the stories are really, really good. Really worth the money that the DLC costs you. So, uh, yeah, I wish. But, uh... It's not on the... Hmm? Well, it did come out for three, for the DS, like, ages ago, but... <laughs> hey, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be on a Nintendo console anymore to come to Smash. Persona is coming to a Nintendo console, though! FF7? FF7, see, the, the thing there is FF7 was originally supposed to come out for the N64. But it didn't. Yeah, because S Square Enix and Nintendo, or Sony and Nintendo, yeah, with Square Enix and Nintendo, they had a falling out. Anyway, we're anyway. We're yeah. getting sidetracked talking about old times. Let's get this thing going. Let's where, get the show on the road. Where are my <laughs> subtitles? I don't know, where are your ah. subtitles? Where are they? Did you break it? I uh, shouldn't have. It was working just fine this morning. Oh, apparently I broke it. <laughs> All right. Hold on and let me fix this. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I had the wrong script file loaded. Oops. Oops. Alright. We're going. Well, that's the wrong line. I can't win tonight. No, I still opened the wrong file. No. 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 There it is. No. What shall we do? All right. One more try. <laughs> EX episode one. We'll be setting out soon for my solo live, yes? I must say, I was surprised at the high degree of eclecticism in the set list you picked out. Oh yeah, gospel, nursery rhyme, everything but the kitchen sink. I wanted to try putting together something that would show off as much of your range as possible this time. I didn't overdo it, did I? Not that it isn't a little late to be asking, but even for you it might be a little tough. I won't try to deny that tough is tough, but if this is what you think is best, then I will not fail to see it through. You're demonstrating tremendous faith in me, producer. And right now, nothing would please me more than to prove that your faith is well-founded. I understand. Thank you for that, Chihaya. You know, it's such a good feeling these days to be able to watch you on stage and see you look like you're really enjoying yourself, no matter what type of song you're singing. Which is only possible due to the new fulfillment I found in both my career and my private life, I'm sure. And yet... I get the feeling I'm still missing something. Something important that remains beyond reach. Huh. Any idea what this something important might be? 
Not at the moment, unfortunately. But I'm not concerned. I believe I'm more than likely to discover exactly what it is. What well, bleh. I believe I'm more than likely to discover exactly what it is in the course of accumulating more experience performing at this high level. All right, so I should explain how these uh, DLC episodes are structured, actually. Um, after you've cleared the idle extreme with an idol, they become available, and there are four story scenes per episode, and to get them, you have to clear a certain special event performing with just that, with just that girl. So she has to be very powerful and very high level to be able to do that. But you get the... Uh, you get the before scene, the morning before you attempt the event, and if you clear the event, you get the after scene. Yay. Congratulations on a job well done, Chihaya. You went above and beyond my expectations. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without your support. However, producer? Not to say that I didn't enjoy myself like you were saying. It's just... At the same time, I've identified a major issue. After playing that show, I think I now know what it is that I've been lacking all this time. Ah, you mean that important something you were talking about this morning? Okay, but... If there is something, I'm afraid you're gonna have to enlighten me. From where I'm standing, you, from where I'm standing, you sang everything on that widely varied set list to perfection. Which, until now, I would have been satisfied with as well. But as it turns out, there is something. Something very important that's gotten harder and harder to see. As the range of songs I'm able to sing has continued to expand. Uh, hang on, this is starting to sound like a riddle. What gets harder to see the more types of songs you can sing? Oh, shit. I'm going to have to, uh, I was supposed to rearrange the options in the script according to how they actually are on the screen, and I didn't. Oh. I'll have to take a break after this, uh, epi uh after this, uh, and finish that, or do that. And now I've lost the music. I know. There we go. <laughs> it's yourself. To master a song means to be skilled in conveying the feelings contained in that song. To take on those feelings as your own. Do that for a whole bunch of different songs, and how is anyone supposed to know what you yourself are truly feeling? Precisely. I knew I could count on you to understand, producer. What impressed upon me out there is the exact sensation you just described. Yes, maybe I have further developed my talent for singing, but what vexes me is that all the talent in the world won't transform the songs I sing into an expression of myself. That is the next threshold I desire to cross over, and I feel that, in order to do so, I will once again have to break new ground. New ground? And the specific way to do that this time would be... I think I need a new song. An original composition with a strong substance that reflects what truly lies within the heart of Chihaya Kisaragi. A song that Chihaya Kisaragi herself would sing. Music straight from your heart to the listeners. I think that's a fine idea. I can get behind putting the real Chihai out there for your fans to fall in love with. You're way past the point of having to play Follow the Leader to make a name for yourself. You'd be willing to support me in this? Thank you so much! Then let's hurry back and begin making it official. Is that okay with you, then? Alright, we'll go with this composer and this lyricist. Now, over the next couple weeks, we're going to need to hash out your vision for this song as comprehensively as we can for them. So be sure to take plenty of time to think about it. I 
I think um, they outsource to a lyricist and a composer. Yeah, that, uh, that's uh, you can uh, actually look at the... Uh, in other games, you can see the songs are credited to the lyricist and composer, which are the real-life figures who wrote the song, but presumably in-universe they outsource the, uh, the lyrics and the melody to actual professional artists, and you'll see them talking a lot about that in these DLC episodes, too. It's your line. I know. I'm just a little concerned still. Make no mistake, they're both exceptionally talented artists who I, whom I hold in high regard, but writing a song to resonate with the singer's heart is a less purely technical, more abstract issue than, say, writing one to showcase the singer's range. I can't help but be nervous whether this will actually pan out. <laughs> she brings up a valid point. However good these songwriters may be, it's not like they know Chihaya as a person. Ugh. Sorry. Moth. Oh god. It's bug season. Yeah. But... What if I were to assume the responsibility of creative super supervision for this project? D could you, producer? Yes. Anything they come up with based on your concept, I won't let it pass without my explicit approval. I'll make sure that when this song is done, it is unmistakably a song from the heart of Chihaya Kisaragi. Yes, thank you very much. That would greatly alleviate my concerns. No one in this world knows me better than you do, after all. Besides, I wouldn't want this to be a song from my heart alone. What? Um pretty sure that's what we were shooting for. I want this song to arise from a convergence between both our hearts. A convergence brought about by all the time we've spent working together. The obstacles overcome, the memories shared. So, the culmination of our activities thus far. Oh jeez. A manifestation, in other words. Yeah, the options are still wrong there. Our child. <laughs> <laughs> the song is our child. <laughs> Correct. Well, I would very much I mean. consider it to be a manifestation of the power, powerful bonds of trust you and I have cultivated between ourselves. I can think of no one more glorious to form from this. Might want to start that one blah, over. Blah, blah, blah. There was a moth in the front of the screen and it completely... Kirito! Hi! Hi, Kirito. Welcome to the show. I can still... Th I Hi. can... I can... Sorry. I can think of no more glorious a form for my representative song to take than proof that such bonds could be held within the heart of Ch Chihaya Kisaraki of all people. Oh my god, I said it the way that you say it and that for some reason it bugs me when you say it that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just matching how the kanji from the original word are split up. Oh. And I was listening to the Japanese, and it's a little closer to how she pronounces mm. it. But you can do whichever you prefer, it's okay. We've been pronouncing it that way for so long, though, I that know. I keep wanting to say kisaragi instead of kisaragi. I know that's the proper way to say it. <laughs> I like the way you think, Chihaya. That's probably enough discussion for now, though. Like I said, I'll set aside plenty of time for us to hash it out, hash out the actual content in the coming days. Understood. In the meantime, I will come up with a vision for the direction I want this song to take as soon as I can. It's very important to me, after all. Kirito's a Miki fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be doing Miki eventually, and Makoto's next. I identify with Chihaya a lot. There's going to be a lot of identifying going on, no matter who the idol yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, we're going to take a short recording break. The episode's not stopping here, but I need to fix the option subtitles. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Everything should be fixed now. Um, I will also take this opportunity to mention that the each EX episode comes with four additional connection scenes. And... They unlock one by one as you clear each of the uh, four episodes of the, or the four 
Okay, let's go lay down. Events of this of the DLC episode. I had to be a little late, but I made it to the dress rehearsal for one of Chihaya's shows. Shouldn't be too much longer before it starts. Ah, oh, hey Chihaya. So that's your outfit for the first set. Correct. Though I also had a few minor alterations made to it to better meet my needs for one particular song. <clears throat> I needed to be somewhat there. I needed it to be somewhat easier to move around it. In. in exchange for that, though, it no longer feels like it fits me quite as snugly. May I ask you to that? Bleh. May I ask that you examine whether the dress fits my body well enough, producer? Sure, I don't mind. Sammy, stay away from that record button. Yeah. Sure, I don't mind. Pardon me, please. It'll just be a moment. <coughs> mm, the shoulder width still feels like a pretty good fit. As long as you have that, I think you should be perfectly fine. I wish I had that issue. <laughs> It's always either too small or too big. <laughs> Thank you kindly. If that's your assessment, then there's no need for me to worry. You know, I gotta say, I really like the floral dresses on you. You look good in them. I, I see. In that case, next chance we get, perhaps. N never mind. You've been a great help. I'm glad I could alleviate her concerns. Still, I really do like the way this style of outfit shows off her slender frame. <sighs> you do not make this an easy job sometimes, dear. Behave yourself, producer. <coughs> the outfit doesn't even have stockings. <laughs> absolute glare. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't even have stockings. <laughs> he is so pissed at me. Producer, about today's festival, I have a request to make. Should we win? Would you be willing to sit down with me afterwards to discuss my new song? We still have yet to finalize our vision for it. Ah, the song of your heart. Yes, we do still need to take care of that. I don't mind, of course, but are you going to be okay at this rate? Okay. What are you referring to, please? The festival. Wouldn't want you to get too distracted thinking about the new song, in the likely event that it's not a good day to let your concentration slip, you know? True enough. I'm competing solo against a formidable opponent today, but I'm not particularly concerned on that front. Human opponents I can deal with. As long as it has a tangible material form, there's always a way to contend with it. It's confronting that which is immaterial that gives me trouble. Hmm? I think I understand, but I also kind of don't. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you can pull this one off at full power. Let's just try not to get caught off our guard out there. Stop, 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 stop. I'm glad we won, producer. Shall we proceed with our meeting right away? <clears throat> I don't mind doing it here if you don't. So, I'm assuming you at least have a rough outline in your head by this point? More or less. Although... <laughs> What's up, Chihaya? Is it something difficult for you to talk about? Well, I don't want to force you. Though I do kind of need you to open up to me if it involves whatever you've chosen your song to be about. Uh, I'm aware. The truth is that it involves a conflict from my past. An important battle that I ended up running away from. Even though I knew that if only I had been willing to confront it head on, just like I did this festival, I would have been able to settle the matter once and for all. An important conflict from your past that you ran away from? Was this some sort of battle with a rival idol? No. 
This battle was from long before that. A battle within my own heart. Producer, you are aware that my parents divorced and that I'm currently living on my own, correct? Of course, Chihaya, you told me. Do you also remember the reason for their falling out? It was your brother's traffic accident. You were both so young when it happened. It was such a horrible thing you had to go through. There's no way I'd forget. Thank you, producer, for remembering for me. At, that, at the time, you see, child that I was, I developed a bad habit of running the same thoughts through my mind over and over again to drown out my parents arguing. My brother hasn't. You hasn't gone anywhere. This is all a bad dream. I'll wake up tomorrow and it'll all be over. Kayla, lay down. Go lay down. Thank you. I ran, I ran, and I ran, and I ran, just waiting for my heart to become numb to the lingering echoes of the pain. Doing so may have gotten me to a point where I was finally able to start living my life again, but... That was the easy way out. In refusing to confront the matter directly for so long, I've never been able to truly put it behind me. Don't feel bad, Chihaya. That would be hard for anyone to deal with head on. That sort of thing can take years. It's been years. That's why I want to try using this new song to move on. By putting these thoughts to a melody and singing them out, perhaps I can finally come to terms with my brother's... death. My only concern is... I'm not sure how well I can hold up on stage. Tempting to sing such a, an emotionally heavy song. I understand. Now I see why you were so hesitant to talk about it. But you're not satisfied just leaving things as they are anymore, are you? This is something you really want to overcome for yourself? It is. I've always known deep down, it is absolutely necessary that I stop running away and confront this matter directly one of these days. And... That remorse is what truly lies within the heart of Chihaya Kisaragi. No, Yakusoku <coughs> is not in this game. You'll see what she I sings. wish it was. Correct. A dark, unseen aspect of myself that has never before been expressed upon any stage. Well then, I don't think it matters how well you can hold up. What can you do but sing it? Even if it's not a song you can sing with a smile, here's what I think, from my perspective as your producer. To sing out those feelings that weigh so heavily upon your heart would be the ultimate expression of your true self. A performance that you and only you are able to give. Producer. Yes, it's just as you say. Hearing you put it that way greatly strengthens my resolve. I do believe that there could be no more appropriate theme. Not if I'm to put the true feelings of my heart to a song. Alright, I like that determination in your eyes. Looks like we have our finalized vision then. And I'll keep on doing everything in my power to see it materialized for you. Let's make this happen, Chihaya. And when the time comes for you to sing it on stage, we'll mark it down as... A long overdue conclusion to this sad chapter in your life. Agreed. I very much want to finally be able to put it at a bleh. Sorry, I... to put at an official end. What? Or, no, maybe the sentence works that way. I don't know, it sounds weird now that I look at it again. Put at an official end. No, there shouldn't be an at there. I very much want to finally be able to put an official end this battle I was never able to finish. Then we'll turn the concept over to our songwriters, and the composition can begin in earnest. Yes. Let all the memories and emotions from the darkest corners of my heart pour out 
into this song. I want to demonstrate to you, to my audience, and to myself the courage I've gained to overcome them. Besides, Yakusoku wasn't about Chihaya's brother per se. <coughs> it was the other member's feelings for Chihaya. Yeah, it just Aww. happened to be involved with that arc of the anime. It is so touching. Though, episode 20 of the Idol Master anime was very hard to sit through. I spent most of that episode in tears. <clears throat> I was singing. I was crying, too. Yeah, I know. I watched it with you. <laughs> fuck feelings. Don't fuck feelings. They're a part of what make the make us alive. I need, well, I need to finish this. Them in the face. I need to finish the side M anime. None. <laughs> That's the the male side, with the new group with the new agency that Jupiter is part of. I need to watch that too. I think I've like watched one episode. It's good. I'm like halfway through it. It's really good. <laughs> you girls ready? Yes. No. Then I guess we'll wait. Okay, now I'm ready. I needed water. <laughs> oh, I like this Yo, scene. Characters. Good morning, producer. Well, it was a good morning for a cold shower for me. How did you fare getting out of bed this morning? Morning, Chihaya. I fared no worse than usual, I suppose. Which is not to say that's particularly well to begin with. That reminds me, though. I've been meaning to look into getting a new alarm clock. <laughs> See if I can find one that I'd actually enjoy waking up to. Ah, as I understand it, there's a wide variety of alarm clocks on offer these days, including ones that can be personalized with voice recordings. Yeah, I heard about those. I just didn't know how effective they would be. I, for one, can't imagine being particularly energized waking up to the sound of my own voice. Understandable, I suppose. What if it were mine? I'm sorry? You mean, you would be willing to record a personalized alarm for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I even know what I would do, or what if Iori <coughs> had control of yeah, it. Yeah, but that's so <laughs> that song's only in the Xbox version of the first- or of the second game. Nodding it, nodding it! It was, it was something like it was so, it was obnoxious. <laughs> Absolutely, I owe you at least that much in return for the kindness you always show me. You need not read into it any further than that. So, um, what sort of tone of voice should I use that you could imagine being the most energizing to wake up to? Oh God, I don't like where this is going. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Producer dies on a shocking moment. Hmm. Good question. If it were your voice, I think I'd most like to hear... <laughs> a pleading tone? Not like I'm dead or anything, just like you really, really want me to wake up? An emphatic plea. Understood. How would something like this strike you then? Oh god. Producer? Can you hear me? If so, um, could I ask you to wake up, please? I know. One more selfish request to indulge from your standoffish, self centered idol Chihaya. But I'm begging you! Everyone is looking forward to seeing you at the office today. If you could please wake up and get there as soon as you can, we'd all appreciate it so much. God! Damn, Chihaya, when did you learn to voice act like that? And you knew just what to say to me. I don't think you could pay me to stay in bed after hearing you ask me to keep you and the girls happy. I see. That's good to hear. I will record just such a sample for you straight away, then. Or, should our schedules happen to allow it, perhaps I could accompany you when next you go out shopping for an alarm clock? I'll be going ahead, then. It doesn't come out in her expression a whole lot, but I can tell how eager she is to do this with me. 
Those footsteps of hers right now just about qualify as Pinkie Pie level bouncing for many of the other girls. <clears throat> had to get that MLP reference in there. Of course he had to. <laughs> I don't know if anyone would bounce as high as Pinkie Pie, though. Yeah, Yoey. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Chihaya, you ready to head out for your audition soon? Hey, what's that you're looking at? The latest draft of the sheet music for our new song. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally near completion. Thanks to your quality assurance efforts, the end product stands, up, stands to line up with my original vision perfectly. There's just one particular line I'm still worried about. And you were trying to work it out, I take it. Yep, I can understand that feeling. One last push to the goal line. So, what is it about the line that has you worried? The melody? No. The lyrics. Although it's not an issue, I would be able to describe coherently without the leeway to put all else out of my mind and think it through very carefully. Producer, if you don't mind, may I ask that you sit down with me to discuss it af after the audition? You got it. In return, I'm counting on you to knock this one out of the park. Of course. I shall endeavor to guarantee our success. Do we have a deal then? Well then, producer, as we agreed, I'd like to begin our final meeting for the new song. Yep. You said there was only one more part of the lyrics that still had you concerned? Correct. What concerns me is... There's a certain line, shall we say, that I've been struggling to decide whether I want included in the song or not. In its current form, the line isn't there, but I just don't know what I should do. This, uh, line must be something pretty difficult to pronounce, or...? It isn't anything complex. Anyone should be capable of uttering it under normal circumstances, but... Ever since the day my brother was taken from me... Not once have I been able to say it to him. Just eight small, simple letters. But every time I go to visit his gravestone, however hard I may try, I cannot bring myself to speak them. Eight small, simple letters. They wouldn't happen to spell... Farewell, would they? Yes, that's the word. Every last wall I put up is like glass to you, isn't it? It's not even as if the word doesn't pass my lips on a regular basis, either. Whenever I leave the office at night. But in front of my brother, my mouth just... stops. Makes the question of whether or not to include it in the lyrics. An extreme... An extremely grave matter. The inclusion or exclusion of that single word could easily alter the message of the entire song. But personally, I would very much like to include it if I'm at all capable, even if it does make the song somewhat more painful to sing and to hear. Chihaya. <laughs> no! We are not- there, there is no shipping here. And if it is, it's not with Makoto. Makoto is shipped with Yukiho. Yep. I've been so afraid of crossing over this gap for so long. Because doing so would mean accepting the reality of what happened, but... By this point, surely I've grown into a young woman who should be capable of reaching the other side. Wouldn't you say so, producer? Chihaya, there's no need to force yourself to make the leap if you don't think you're ready yet. I told you before, there's no shame in it. These things just take time. But you'll feel it, but you'll feel it in your heart when the time is right. It won't be a forceful push over the edge, but a gentle tug guiding you across, step by step. Producer, I understand. 
Going by that description, I truly feel that the right time is, indeed, now. There is a gentle tug guiding me across, and it's the comforting presence of the one person I trust more than anyone. That's what I believe gave me the strength of will to sing this song in the first place. Discussing it with you has made up my mind, producer. I'll do it. I will have the word farewell included in the final lyrics. There are no other problems to speak of, but this is finally complete. Our song is complete. Yes, it's everything we wanted it to be, down to the finest detail. I think it turned out wonderfully. <clears throat> what about you? No second thoughts? None whatsoever. We have our final product. Thank you so much for creating it with me. All that remains now is for me to practice it as much as I can, and prepare to test the upper limits of what I can do when I put my full strength behind it on stage. <coughs> While your voice actor is freaking out. <laughs> uh, <Whoa>. Shit. <coughs> I get to be Scottish tonight! Yay! Hmm? I believe I see two of my idols talking up ahead. That would be... Oh, quit being a wet blanket, Shihaya! It is way too early to go home just yet. One more stop! Come on, let's make one more stop! Kanaha-san, I appreciate the thought, but I can't drink anymore. Can we agree to leave it at this for tonight? You two are too young to drink! Did I hear that right? What have those two been doing? I am almost positive Chihaya would never... I should have made Chihaya sound drunk. Mm -mm. Just just to play it off. <laughs> no! Chihaya, Hibiki, just what are you girls up to? You're not about to tell me you're out drinking together, are you? Producer, I, we're outside, we're drink, we're together, and we're drinking. I don't exactly see the problem. Obviously there's a huge problem! As idols, you're supposed to lead by example, and going out on an underage drinking spree is not a good example to be setting. You misunderstand, producer. When she says out drinking, what she means is that we've been going around to various coffee shops, sampling their beverages. Oh... That makes much more sense. <clears throat> well, yeah, that I don't have a problem with. I, I do, though. Ganaha-san just will not stop telling me all these silly stories and making me laugh. Add all that laughing on top of how much my stomach has bulged from drinking too much, and I am seriously starting to hurt. I don't know how much longer I can hold up. I'm telling you, you're exaggerating. You need to learn to let yourself go and miss it end more often. You never hear the twins complaining about too much chit-chat going on, right? And I have not had nearly enough chit-chat for tonight. I'm not letting you get away from me that easily. Now on to the next stop. And I'm telling you, I absolutely cannot drink anymore. You must understand there's a limit to how much fun we can have in one night without it adversely affecting our work tomorrow. Also, I'm fairly certain the Futami twins are an extremely special case. Mm. Anyone would be hard-pressed to keep up with Hibiki setting the pace for the evening, but Chihaya especially. Maybe I could... <laughs> you know, Chihaya, you don't have to let Hibiki do all the talking. Are you suggesting I come up with stories to tell her? You don't have to improvise anything. I'm only suggesting you try balancing out the conversation a little better. I'm sure there must be some stories you could share with Hibiki pertaining to your recent idol activities, or maybe recent songs, yes? Recent activities... and songs? Yes, I see your point exactly. I have just the experience to draw from to be able to discuss such matters at length. Shall we proceed, Gana Hassan? There are a number of thoughts I'd like to share with you regarding our activities. I'm not pausing when they blink on purpose. <laughs> oh! Don't know what you just did, producer, but you got your high all fired up! 
Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> and so all was right between them as they took off down the street once again. It's not like it's impossible for Chihaya to carry a conversation. She just has an easier time when there's something concrete she can focus on conversing about. Hibiki would be the underage drinker. I'm from Scotland. The drinking age is like 13. <laughs> okay, here we go. Big news, Chihaya. I got you into a festival against Leon today. We've never had to contend with any opponent like her before. Which song do you want to field against her? Leon. The highest of the high. Likely not an opponent we could hope to defeat by approaching this contest as anything less than a matter of life and death. I will field the new one. <laughs> you seriously want to debut that song against Leon? I can't deny it will it would make a huge impact, but... Are you sure you're at a point where you're confident enough to compete with it at such a high level? Honestly speaking, no. I can't say for sure. I have experimented with it many, many times over. But even then, practice is only practice. Up until now, every time I've sung it, I've been too afraid of losing control of myself to let my heart feel the genuine emotions of the song and let my voice express them. But today... You intend to open the floodgates and fully channel those emotions? For the first time? Correct. I'm prepared to pour 16 years worth of emotion into this single performance. I just have to trust it'll be enough to exceed a world-class idol at the very least. My headcanon is that Leon went on to another agency because 961 sucks. Um... But... But there's problems with doing that. You're daddy. Pretty no, that's Sheikah. Oh, all right. I'm getting confused. Remember, I go with yes. She probably went on and decided to change her look or something that the, the, called to her. <laughs> remember, the president never tells the producer or the I girls know, about nine six one. So in, in this uh, in this game, so she probably is still with nine six one production, nah. and they don't. N nobody else thinks of it as anything but just another talent. But agency. we know the truth. We know it. Are you gonna right. share the video yes. with Izumi so that? I need to share the. I need to get All the. All I right... see is the mic. Hold on. Hold on. We're switching to the video, to the actual video player, so you can hear the song. All right. We're, Hi. We are going. Okay.
Now, while you're Dragon, no! No, while you're still in this emotional state, I want to go ahead with the next scene. We'll talk about the song after. All right, I'll mute. Cuz this is emotional. Chihaya. Chihaya, you did it. You showcased the full glory of the song for your heart for all the world to see and you beat Leon. Oh my god, that was almost too soulful for me to take it to take in. I'm still having trouble standing up straight. This is the Chihaya I've been waiting to let your fans fall in love with. Producer. Producer. Yes, Chihaya? Hey, what's the matter? No. No, 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 no. He's... They... It's all my... <laughs> God, I'm guessing the moment you stopped singing, all the emotions you had been channeling surged back into you in a massive backlash. I can't! I can't! I can't! I, I can't! Producer! Shh, 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 Don't try to talk, it's okay! Just calm down! It'll be okay, I'm right here! It's no good. My voice won't do anything for her at a time like this. There's no other choice. I'm just gonna have to force myself to put my arm around her. I don't care if this is Japan. I don't care what other people think. My idol, Chihaya, needs me! Producer? Look at me. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm right here. And I'm not going anywhere until you've settled down. Okay? Yes. Please hold me. and tackle you to the ground and squeeze the sadness out of you if I could. <laughs> Along with surround you with a bunch of plushies. <sighs> Wrap you up and make you a blanket burrito. <laughs> Are you okay? And say, no sad kage. I'm okay. Okay? I'm okay. Because my heart was breaking hearing you cry. You didn't yell. No more sadness. So song. No, we said we we're gonna finish this scene first and then talk about it. Okay. Now that we recovered, me. <laughs> How you doing? You okay to talk? Yes. I apologize. I don't think I was expecting that to happen. Really? No sign of an, of an impending breakdown while you were singing or anything? None. I was holding up fine, just, just fine during the performance. But the instant I no longer had to, that to concentrate on, something inside me just snapped and it's like a whirling cacophony of memories began tearing up, tearing apart my soul from the inside. Because 
This song. It's my song, producer. So much my song that it hurts. But out of all of these memories, there was one in particular that I was not prepared for. Quite possibly the one I never wanted to have to remember again. It was more difficult to bear than I could have imagined. The single most pain the single most painful memory of all was it the moment of the accident? No, actually. Not to say that's not a painful memory, of course. It's severe, but the shock of the moment was so great that it's played itself back in my mind who knows how many hundreds of thousands of times. Eventually, I just sort of became numb to it. I see. But if that's the case, then what other memory was tearing you apart so much? It was the days following the accident. Dark, cold, agonizing memories that I'd been shutting out with all my might for the longest time. Then, what came afterwards was the hardest part. Yes, producer. You were the one. You were the first person I was ever able to share the story of my brother's death with. After I did, I found myself opening up about it to a number of, of the other girls as well, but... The truth is, there's a second half to that story that I've never shared with anyone. Not even myself. The story of the wretched existence I led in the days that followed. Days that stretched out into years. How long did she say it's been since the accident? Nine years? It's true, every time we've talked about it, I can only recall her vaguely glossing over the period between that and her joining 765. Almost as if she was trying not to remember. Producer, after the accident, I... Kisaragi! My friend, tell me. You, tell me you're alright. Leon. I couldn't see the light from your song just now. Only your soul. A blinding, searing, scathing fire. Was it normal? I was worried it had to be taking its toll on you. Uh, perhaps I overstepped myself? Not a... <sighs> Sorry. She was scratching up my clothes. Sometimes she does that when she's trying to get herself comfortable. She does that on my to my blanket constantly. Not at all, Leon. I'm grateful that you were concerned for her. Because of you, we have one more ray of comfort in our hour of need. Thank you. Kisadagi. Your name is... Chihaya. To pour all your heart into your song is a wonderful thing, but there's a point where it begins to come at too great a cost. You must remain the master of your music. If what shines upon your stage is the light from you being consumed in its blaze, then not only is that not the true splendor of the song, it hurts you. And I, for one, wouldn't want that. I... yes, I understand. I apologize. It hadn't been my intention to make you worry for me. I think I'll refrain from putting my full strength behind the song again for the time being. At least until I've had more time to grow accustomed to it. Mm. Sounds advisable. What you need now, though, is rest. Till next time. <laughs> I... Do not deserve this victory. Couldn't even say that I outperformed my opponent so much as that I sufficiently distracted her from her own performance. Yeah. She did seem pretty shaken up about whatever it was she said she saw from you. At her level, though, there's no way she doesn't know what she's talking about. Maybe we did overreach ourselves just a little bit this time, huh? Let's go nice and easy from now on, and take our time getting a handle on this song. By all accounts, it would appear to be a pretty dangerous double-edged sword. 
Agreed. I still don't regret having created it with you, though. For better or for worse, the fact remains that we were able to create my song. Our song. All that remains is to overcome this pain. Then, and only then. And so, our first battle against Leon ended in a somewhat indecisive victory, which made it clear we still have a number of obstacles left to deal with. There are no shortcuts, nothing we can cheat our way through. It's just going to take time. Time enough for both Shihaya and myself to confront her past directly, and overcome it together. And once we do, I'd like to be able to challenge Leon again. To test our limits against her true power, free from any distractions over what she sees from her rival. Those are my goals going forward. Help Chihaya come to terms with her memories, master the song of her heart, and wield its full strength against the ultimate opponent, so that she can finally be set free from her painful past. All right, and that's the conclusion of DLC Episode 1. Well, I'll go ahead and talk about the song now. Sai Hyo, Diamond Dust, the song of Chihaya's heart. Ultimately about the loss of her brother. And the inability to say goodbye. To process all of the emotions behind losing someone so very important to her. And uh, I was very adamant about being the one to write this song. For a particular reason. I've talked about it a bit before on the channel. Um, it's not something I tend to hide. When I was 13, I lost my best friend to, brain, to, to cancer. Um, I was 13, she was 14. She was really the only friend I had at the time. And I still struggle to come to terms with the emotions I feel around her death. Like Chihaya, the first few years after losing her, I... I was a wreck. But... That's why I identify with Chihaya so much. And... A lot of, If you go back and you listen to the lyrics, you can hear a lot of that in in my English lyrics. Um, there's a specific line um, where she talks she, she talks about n not being able to go back to that moment where all that will be waiting all that will be left waiting for her is a single smile wishing her goodbye. That line in particular came from the day that Hope died. Um, I was coming to the hospital after church with mom and dad and I ran ahead and I went into her room and just as, just as I walked into her room she looked up at me. It looked like she had been ready to go for a while because she looked very weak and very pale. She looked up at me and she smiled and the heart monitor went flat. Which, yeah. Um, Then I met Izumi, who reminds me of her a lot. I see a lot of hope in Izumi. And I'm, I'm better now. I still have my days where I miss her terribly. But... Yeah, so... Well, here's hoping that doing this story with us will be able to help you move on a little. Because Chihai is not done dealing with this shit either. But I want to talk about something as far as the story is concerned, too. Did it ever seem like anything... Did anything Chihaya ever said strike you as a little bit strange? Like, in the camping tent scene, I have no, recollec I have no recollection of ever being in such close proximity to another person. Or in the, uh supermarket scene. I haven't given up on there coming a day when I can enjoy 
company at the j- dining table, mm-hmm. talking like she had never done those things before when obviously she must have as a child before her brother's accident at least. But and init- bef- when I was when I first came upon those scenes way back when I started translating her story, I may have been tempted to write them like that, but no, she was actually forcing herself to remember as little of her childhood as possible so that those memories wouldn't come out. And that's why the, to, to translate those lines that way was so important. A lot of times when you're translating a story arc like this, you really have to go make a habit of going back and making sure that old dialogue you've written matches up with new information that you've learned. So, once again... I bawled my eyes out on the stream, and I'm sorry. <laughs> also, how dare you? Question: I thought we mm-hmm. isn't there a uh, story like how dare you for her outfit change Don't... appeal? Oh, the ultimate appeal. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Because that... she shouldn't have it at this point. In no, the story. no. Y- y- you're right. You earned that at the end of the second DLC episode, but we only need to play the song once, so I just put it here because <laughs> otherwise we wouldn't get to see it. I thought you were gonna. So. Wait. Fancy surprise. Right. Yeah. But... All of the girls get that, which is so cool. I love I love these outfits. I think my favorite though is Ma- is Makoto's. I think you'll relook at that one again. Mm. There's so many outfits. No problem, Midnight. Thank you very much for your support. You don't need to say anything right now. Just be there. Thank you, Midnight. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're not quite done with this episode. There's still one more connection scene. And less tears. I like this one too. Please do not allow me to take up any more of your time. Indeed. Then I will excuse myself. Oh? Chihaya appears to be having a discussion with an attendant at this daycare <laughs> center. I wonder what this is all about. Hey, Chihaya! What business? What business? What business brings you here? Was she an acquaintance of yours? Uh, good day, producer. No, we only just met. The children had left toys scattered all across the sidewalk as I was passing by, so I offered to help clean them up. Oh, well that was nice of you. Incidentally, the thought only happened to cross my mind just now, but it takes a rare type of person to be able to become a child care worker. One very difficult, different, eh, the bad, one very different from anyone else that I know. Different in what way, exactly? Their mannerisms. Talking with that woman, for example, was an incredibly soothing experience. I very much got the feeling almost nothing could provoke her. Ah, I know what you mean. Almost like she walked right out of a feel-good slice-of-life anime, right? What was that one about the apartment caretaker? It intrigues me how even among us fellow women, different traits seem more likely to express themselves in different occupations. Producer, I'm curious. Would you say you have an easier time dealing with more mild-mannered, even-tempered women like her? Well, it depends on the degree, I think. There's a certain point at which even that would just start to get frustrating in real life. But I suppose in general it's the difference between trying to get Azusa-san to cooperate with me versus, say, Iori. Interesting. I can't help but wonder if someone like me could learn to exhibit those gentle mannerisms. Not likely, the way I see it. (laughs) A rather blunt assessment. What makes you say so? There was noise on the other end. Can you try that line again? A rather blunt assessment. What makes you say so? I just think it's a logical conclusion from our recent work with the Song of Your Heart. Even if it was painful and possibly provocative, you didn't shy away from it. You felt strongly enough about it deep down to want to express it in full view of the world. That's a part of who you are. It's not going to change so easily, nor does it need to. You need... God, traffic. You need to remember to take pride in all of the good things that make you, you. Producer, (laughs) you're not fair sometimes. I have no idea where you picked up the ability to see past anything and strike directly at the heart of the matter 100% of the time. 
And I must concede to your point. Difficult to deal with, though I may be. This is who I am. And I hope we can continue to work well together regardless. <laughs> I could see a somewhat a somewhat disingenuous grin playing at her lips as she said that. Oh, Chihaya. I truly hope you don't ever change for anyone. And scene. That is DLC episode one. There was a little more information in it than usual, and the song, of course, but we got through it in about an hour and a half, so the other two episodes will probably take between an hour and that. I think we can get through one more tonight, depending on where Izumi currently is. How are you doing, Izumi? I'm good. You sure? Are you at the apartment? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, Iori has one scene at the end of this episode, so you can just keep on relaxing until it's time. Anyway, uh, we will break here and be back with uh, DLC episode 2 on the next episode of Let's Voice Act. See you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too. You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for joining us today, fans. Miss an episode? Click the box on the left to catch up on Let's Voice Act the Idolmaster One for All. There's happiness to be found in other pursuits as well. The box on the right will lead you to anime reviews, product reviews, and more on Izumi Reviews Me.